Let's work with the uh, DXF import and DXF export. So first of all, we'll import a part. In this case, the cabinet numbers are one and cabinet number two. And we, uh, we're we gonna choose a part from cabinet one and we're gonna choose the left side. And import it in. Okay, now what you need to note is that if you're gonna edit it, you've gotta pick the cabinet and then click on it to get into it and into editing. So now let's uh, just add a circle and we might turn that circle into a into a an arc. So I'm just going to grab this, split it in half and uh, remove the parts. Okay, so at the moment we're going to turn this into a group. Why? Because we don't want to be using block inserts for the CAM software that we're using. If your CAM software supports block inserts and you want to make use of it, then make a component instead of a group. So we make the group and then I'm going to eliminate this so that this group still exists. And that's it right here. So the next thing to note is that we probably need to put it on a unique layer for the machining operation. So I'm just going to create a layer called arc. Okay, and I'm going to move that group into arc. Now that we've done that, we want to uh, select the DXF file or the, the side, the part. So we click on it right in here. It's good enough so that it is selected. Then we're going to turn around and save it back out. Now it knows where it came from and what the original part name was. And what we've done is we've just added this little underscore at the end of the file name. So if you want to overwrite your file, go ahead, remove the underscore. For now, I'm going to leave it in there. Okay, so save it. Now we're going to just remove this and we're going to import and we're going to come back and import the one with the underscore, which is right here, back into the system. And there you go. There's your start of your arc and uh, we're all done. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.